Hello there friends, today I'm making French toast and I'm using brioche bread. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Stay tuned, we're gonna do it right now. Well, hello there friends, let me show you how to make this. This is really a beautiful recipe, very simple to make. Uh, you know I like brioche bread, so I'm gonna use the brioche bread. To make a French toast, uh, you have to have thick bread. So you get a brioche bread, you slice it, or you can get whatever bread you want. You know what's also good is uh, raisin bread. Uh, anyway, in French it's called pain perdu. Pain perdu, which means lost bread. Usually you make it with old bread. I don't like the old bread. Gold bread, I give it to the duck. But make it with whatever you want. Whatever bread you want, it's okay too. All right, um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a batter, a batter. We're gonna put uh, eggs, and, uh, and let me just do them. Let me just put them in right in there, right? Eggs, and then we're gonna put uh, a little bit of milk, about like maybe a quarter cup of milk or something like that. Um, I'm not really measuring carefully, but you get an idea, right? A pinch of salt, always put a pinch of salt. It doesn't matter if it's sweet or not. We're gonna put a little bit of sugar, measure everything carefully. Uh, a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon, friends, I love it in the background, not in the foreground. Okay, I don't want it all of a sudden, oh. Now, some people like cinnamon, then put away however you want. A little bit of nutmeg, ground nutmeg. I got this nutmeg grinder, it's pretty cool. But you can use just a powdered nutmeg, right? And then what we're gonna do, this is really simple. I mean, a child could do this. <laughs> I know, if people said, oh yeah, oh, come your eggs are so yellow. It's the uh, um, free-range eggs that I get at the grocery store. We get them at Publix. They're wonderful. Maybe just a little bit more milk. What do you think? Just a touch more milk. See, that's the whole idea about um, is uh, just doing it however you want. Quarter cup. Here you go. There. I got enough right there. And you know what I like to do also? I got like to put some Tahitian vanilla. I like to put... Uh, 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 Tahitian vanilla. You can get whatever vanilla you want. I think Tahitian vanilla is one of the most flavorful vanilla, but uh, uh, Madagascar vanilla, uh, Mexican vanilla, there's a lot of vanilla out there. Uh, if you can get pure vanilla, it's better, but if you can't, you can't. You know, that's it. I'm going to put just a touch more milk. You see, where is it? Where's the milk? Oh, here it is. <laughs> and I knew people in the channel here. this guy is nuts. And that's okay. Well, we don't mind having this label. So now, what else did I do to this? Okay, I got it I'm all ready to go, right? Very simple so far. Let me move stuff out of the way. This I'm going to need later. This I don't need. What else are we going to put in here? Now, the adult version. <laughs> little bit of Kahlua, little bit of rum. And you see I got Grand Marnier because I'm going to put some berries. I'm going to saute them in a simple syrup with a little bit of butter in there. And uh, so, oh, by the way, talking about butter, let's get ready with our butter, friends. We're gonna put a little butter. We're gonna put some in here, too. We're gonna use that later. A uh, little butter. Uh, <laughs> little butter, yeah. Like, you can't really have too much butter, right? I mean, we all know that. Butter is good for you. I mean, I always push butter and people said, oh, you use too much butter. What do you think? Not too bad, right? For a guy who eats a lot of power. I eat probably a quarter pound of butter a day. <laughs> That's a lean day for me. Uh, so we're going to put that in there, and then we're going to put the bread. Let me tell you about the bread, friends. It doesn't matter what bread you're using. If you're using uh, a brioche bread or uh, whatever favorite bread you use, I like to toast them. And I like to, uh, and, and the reason why in France they use the, the old bread is because we kind of like a little dry. I don't like a dry, really. So what I do is I toast them. They're still tender in the center, but what happens is the fact that they are a little uh, crusty on the outside, they're not going to get soggy. So it's really an important little thing to remember, my friends, okay? You want to uh, toast your bread first. doesn't matter what bread you're using. We're going to keep it. We're going to get them in the... Um, in the butter than we made, but we're not gonna leave in there and there too long, just a few seconds on each side. We don't want them to get soggy, okay? So we're leaving in there a little bit, just for a few seconds on each side, you see? And then we're gonna put them in there. This is really simple, friends. I mean, really, French toast, I mean, really. Okay, everybody's been asking me, please give source your French toast recipe. Well, here it is, my friends. All right, so this right there, and then I'm gonna do these uh, berries, you see? All right, so 
What do you think? I think that's, what do you think? I love when I ask you all the time, what do you think? You know, it's because, you know, remember when I had the cooking school, every night I would cook, every day I would cook in front of people and they were right there in front of me. I had to ask them what they thought because they were going to eat everything I was going to cook. All right, they were going to eat it all. So I had to ask them. So I'm keep asking you. I hope I put everything in there that I was supposed to put. See, look, I drank the whole thing. And they're not going to get soggy. They're not going to be soggy because uh, that, that dish was a little smaller. They're not going to get soggy because, um, and, you know, the batter should be a little harder. They're not going to get soggy because we took the time to toast them before. Okay, so it's really, really important. Make sure your butter is a little harder than mine right there. That's always the problem when we're doing live things, live shows. Let me take it out of here because I don't want it to get too soggy. I don't want it to be soggy, okay? I want them to be soft, but not soggy. All right, so let's make sure this is hot. Let me get a rag. I want it to be hot so they, you know, they're gonna be beautiful, you watch. This is gonna be delicious, my friends. All right, so here we go. Put the bread in here, yep. There you go, they should fit in that pan pretty good. And then we leave them alone for a second, okay? While they are getting nice and, and golden brown, let me remove all the stuff I don't need out of here, friends. Uh, when they're getting nice and golden brown, I got a plate right here that I'm going to use. Let me now take care of the fruits. And the fruit, oh, you know what? I got to get a spatula. I forgot to get a spatula, but I got it. I got everything. <laughs> That's the cool thing about this kitchen, friends. I have everything. Well, guess what? After 50 years in the kitchen, you should have everything, right? We want them to be beautiful golden brown. Not too golden brown, but we want them to be pretty enough. So let's make sure the butter is not too hot. All right, let's see what we got here, friends. They're not there yet. All right, we'll that's good, that's good, because we got a few minutes. We're going to do the fruits and the fruits. All I'm doing is putting a little butter. Now, you know what? The adult version, the rum and the Kahlua, go right ahead. Don't be afraid to do it. And the adult version for the fruits, oh, let me make sure this is, ah, not yet, not yet. Well, now that I flipped it, let me see, because it smells, not yet, another 12 seconds, <laughs> something like that. The, the, um, the adult version for the fruits, I mean, for the, obviously for the kids, you just put butter and sugar and you put a little water. So you get like a simple syrup. The adult version, you put a little Grand Marnier in there. That's the adult version. Orange juice for the kids. Orange juice for the kids, it'll be perfectly fine. For the adults, yeah, now we're talking. Look, look, you see? This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted, friends. Look at this. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so uh, the fruits. I got the... Uh, 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 raspberries, I got uh, blackberries, and I got strawberries. Strawberries, we're gonna put them first because the strawberries could cook a little bit. The other one, they don't need to cook at all. Put a little more sugar. I like it to be a little thicker, right? Let's take the, um, the, the French toast out of there. Let me put them in a plate here. And then I, in a minute, I'll make a nice plate for serving. We're gonna keep them so they don't burn on us. You see? That's exactly the way I like it. Nice and golden brown like this. Beautiful. All right, let me turn this off. I never have the room. There you go, you know, I'm gonna keep it right here. Oh, it's gonna be, the plate gonna be hot down here. Don't grab the plate. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna saute a little bit of fruit right there. We're gonna take the blackberries. They don't need a cook. Just get them a little thing. And especially the raspberry, they don't need to cook. We just gotta get them coated. All we're trying to do is just get them coated. Uh, we let them cook for a second. So we take our slices right there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be delicious, friends. Right, take a plate right there. Let me tell, let me remove this out of the way for so the camera I can see because I always have things in the middle. All right, so we're gonna decorate with a, with a raspberry. Then we're gonna take a little bit of the, um, of the maple syrup. I love a little maple syrup on it. 
You don't have to put maple syrup. You can put whatever syrup makes you happy. Just a little bit on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little maple syrup. Uh, what else? A little bit of fruit. Just a little bit of fruit. One, two, three. Let me get a spoon. I mean, this is so simple, my friends. Take a little bit of the fruit right there. Oh, yeah. You can put more syrup if you want. It's really up to you. This is beautiful, simple. Child could do it. <laughs> that should be a thing. A child could do it. And then, oh, 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 what? Oh, a little pot of sugar. What do you think? Just a little pot of sugar. This is, good. this is a little bit of pot of sugar right there. Looking good. We could do a quick little strawberries decoration. Take a strawberries. Slice it up and down. Not all the way through. Not all the way through. Really simple, eh? Then fend it up. There you go. Open it up. Oh, stay here, you. And voila. Beautiful. Ah, well. There you go. Let's leave it on. <laughs> I screwed it up. There you go. Put it right there. Stay right there, you. All right, my friends. French toast. Really simple. Let me have a bite. <laughs> I always got a fork ready. See that? They're going to be perfect, friends. Oh, yeah. You, can get, you don't need a, a knife for this. Look at this. Look at it. See how beautiful they are? Oh. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. For once, I didn't burn myself. Let me just make sure all my heat is off. Mmm. I hope you enjoyed it. That was really simple. You asked for French toast. Here it is. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.